Hi, my name is Benson. My name is Caden. My name is Callie. My name is Cass. My name is Clayton. My name is Hayden. My name is Jamie Wilson. My name is Kate. My name is Colby. My name is Laurie. I'm Michael. My name is Noah. I'm Bree Casey McDonald. My name is Sirius. My name is Elijah. My name is Felix Wallace. I identify as a uh, female to male transgender, and I also identify as straight. I am a 25-year-old heterosexual transgender male. I'm 17, gender fluid, and pansexual. I live in Southern California, and I identify as FTM transgender. Sexuality-wise, I am panromantic, heteroflexive. I'm 14, female cisgender, and pansexual. So I'm 14 years old, and I identify as a pansexual demiboy. I'm a boy, I'm gay, and I live in the Netherlands. I'm 17, and I'm a pansexual agender. Gender to me means who I am and sexuality means to me who I'm attracted to. Being transgender means that uh, my body does not match what's in my head. I was in the wrong body. I can have romantic feelings towards anyone, no matter their gender or parts. I mostly identify as a boy, but since gender is such a complicated thing, there are also parts of my gender that are more androgynous or gender neutral. It's like asking someone, why do you like a certain type of chocolate it's like well you just like it you don't you don't ever decide i do face quite a few difficulties um from day to day especially public bathrooms i can't go to the restroom in public i look too much like a boy to go in the girls restroom but too much like a girl to go in the men's restroom some of the biggest problems i have faced because of my gender and sexuality uh, people see me as less of a human being. Asking me, are you a boy or a girl? Can you prove it? Having this body that is female, well, my brain is male. It causes a bit of a rift and I call that, that's called dysphoria. People stereotype and say uh, um, that there are two, only two genders and they don't realize that gender comes on a spectrum. For anyone considering coming out in the LGBT plus community, the best thing to do is to know that you feel comfortable with doing it. I'd also say make sure you're safe. If you see people who don't have acceptance, don't have a home, don't have friends, be their friend, be their home, stand up for them. Yeah, I'm proud of you. You're beautiful, handsome, amazing, funny, cute. At the end of the day, it's your life and it's not theirs. For parents of gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender children, the best thing to always do is include them and never, ever outcast them, no matter what. Just accept it. You cannot change your children. Kids actually know what they're talking about. It is possible to move past things that you think that you don't understand. Gay, lesbian, bisexual, pansexual, asexual, aromantic, agender, gender fluid, transgender, trigender, bigender. There's endless possibilities. Never be afraid to be you. 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 Never ever be afraid to be you. Never be afraid to be you. Never be afraid to be you, okay?